Oh my god. So crazy. Hello everybody, this is The Rock Shifter, and can you guess what we're playing? That's right, we are back to Pokemon... Okay. <laughs> she was in my way, I was gonna be pissed. Anyway, we are back to Pokemon Blue. In the last episode... Well, actually, I did a lot off-screen. <laughs> So let's start what happened in the last episode. In the last episode, we got our fourth Pokemon, which was... Venonat! Uh, Venonat is now level 38, because I did a lot of training with those trainers on Route 12 and 13. And... Well, Venonat is now a Venomoth. <laughs> Um, pretty good stats. It knows Psybeam, Stun Sword, Poison Powder, and Double Edge. Double Edge is actually pretty good, surprisingly, but whatever. So, I mean, Venonat isn't, like, the best right now, but it's pretty good right now. So, 84, 86, I mean, let's compare it to Honeydew real quick. Hmm... Yeah, it technically its special attack is better than Honeydew's attack. Its speed isn't that good, but you know. It's not that big a deal. And compared to Rockamar, well Rockamar hasn't evolved yet too, so But Rockamar is gonna get there soon. Blastoise, now that's where Yeah, I mean it's on par with Blastoise, that's pretty good. Anyway, so we did that stuff, we did all the root stuff, I did some shopping, didn't really buy much, just some super potions, revives, uh, stuff like that. Anyway, uh, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna cut down this, uh, before we go take on that little Snorlax that's over here, we're gonna go over here, talk to this guy, how'd you get in here, good effort, yeah, I just cut down a simple bush, isn't that nice? Anyway, I think you go in here, and yes, this is who you want to talk to. If you talk to this person, you get HMO2, which is fly. Fly allows you to fly to different cities. And even though it has wings, I don't think Mono can learn fly. Wah, wah. Oh well, no big deal. That's what HM slaves are for. Too bad Sandshrew can't learn it, but... So, I'm pretty much just going to kill this Snorlax, because we don't need another one. I mean, I could, I guess, get this one, but I'd rather get the experience on Honeydew. So, let's get our Poke Flute and wake this sons of bitch up. I'm just going to cut out the battle. Like now. Like right now. Right now! Wake up, you grumpy bitch! With a big yawn, Snorlax returned to the mountains. Well, isn't that nice? Anyway, now that we have Snorlax out of the way, we can get on to... Uh... Oh god. Oh god, I don't know what route this is. Ah! Uh, this is route 16 through 18. <laughs> That's what we're gonna be on. Um... So, yeah, I guess... Uh, should I... Y you're automatically gonna be put on a bike here, I guess I should say. Once you get here, it's like a down ramp. So you're gonna go straight down. So, pretty cool, right? Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> anyway, um, the Pokemon you can find on this route are pretty awesome. The usual Rattatats, Raticates... Weezings? No. Um, <laughs> Rattatats and Raticates. You can find Spearows and Doduo, which I believe we ran into a few in our battles, but not really in actual battles. But Doduo is a uh, flying normal type, just like Pidgey. Uh, more aggressive and fast, I believe. Uh, I actually prefer Doduo over Spearow or Pidgey. It's just my opinion. Uh, it evolves into Dotrio, which is a awesome Pokemon. <laughs> but again, that's just my opinion. It's just my favorite of the normal bird Pokemon that are out there. 
Um, now, I guess I'll just keep going over the roots, because it, bri like I said, it branches off into the other, s the other roots. Um, so, Route 17 and 18 pretty much have the exact same Pokémon. Um, except for Yellow Version. In Yellow Version, you can run into a Ponyta on Route 17. Um, and... Also on Route 17, you can find Otrio, which is actually pretty good, but very low percent chance in Yellow. Uh, there's also... Uh, Firo, I believe you could find. But that's not that important. Um, so yeah, this is the much quicker of the routes to get by. Um, I'm hopefully going to be able to switch Rockamar to the front real quick. Eh, okay. Uh, you know what, let's switch Sir Wetzelot to the front. He hasn't seen much action yet, especially since he evolved. Uh, so yeah, this is going to just pull you straight down. Damn it. <laughs> this is just going to pull you straight down. Uh, you can go against it by going up, left or right. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty much going to just... I guess I could just cut this out, because all you see is... I'll even, I'll even look real quick. I will look. Uh, you know what? Bubble. <laughs> I'll look real quick. Um, on the top of the route you can find, like... Some fighting type Pokemon, but that's nothing too ex too special. Um, you can find Dotrio, or not Dotrio, the trainers. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, but yeah, there's nothing really special on this route. In fact, I might just off-screen them real quick. You know what? No, I'm not gonna off-screen them just because I want to save some trainers uh, for the rest of my team to level up one. Uh, but I will have to use an antidote real quick. Okay. Awesome. Yeah, because I got some big plans for what we're going to do in this episode, since this route goes quicker than that last abomination of a route. Ugh, I had such problems with going on route, what was it, 12 and 13? The other, the other way to Fuchsia City. Can I get by him? Yes. Um... Alright, so I think we reached the end. You know you reach the end when you can stop... Yep, there you go. When you're not going on your own anymore. And that's pretty much how you get to the end of Fuchsia City, taking that route. Uh, and it's also good because you get fly. But anywho what's it's, um, there are some trainers in there, but they don't have anything too good. Okay, so... Um, there is a couple things I want to take care of. Um, there is a gym here, obviously. Um, but we're not going to do it just yet. Because, spoiler alerts, I'm going to heal real quick. There are some things we could do that are not part of the gym, which I want to take care of before we go to the gym. Yeah, sense making. <laughs> Uh, trust me, there's a lot of stuff we're gonna be getting soon. It's gonna- it's gonna get cray-cray! Uh, anyway... If we go in here, I think we talk to this guy... I'm the fishing guru's older brother... Uh, oh, no, I don't- I don't wanna- I don't need- well, uh, Darn it. Fine! Give me your good rod. It's funny how you can get the super rod before you get the good rod. <laughs> but no big deal. Okay, so this, this is interesting. There's a rock that requires strength to get that item with it. We want that item really bad. Um, huff, 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 What does that mean? That, uh, whatever. So, what we're actually going to be doing this episode is going all the way to the top of Fuchsia City. Because, 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 um, there is a thing which everybody should know about, known as, oh my god, alright, hold on, 
takes forever to get to because, you know, everything and their mother is in the way. Ah, here it is. This is the Safari Zone. The Safari Zone is a nifty little place where some rare Pokemon can be caught. Um, it costs 500 to get in, and the rules are a little different than they are on the outside. You get some Safari Balls, which you use to catch any number of Pokemon. Well, not any number of Pokemon, but you have 30 chances to catch Pokemon. Hmm. Weird music. Uh, anyway, so let's try and... Uh, darn it, I, I'm already lost. I don't know where to go. Okay, so we want to go to... This way. Okay, so hopefully I'll run into a battle. You are on a time limit, so you have to be... careful. Um... Okay, so here's a battle. Thank God. Uh, I guess I could go over the Pokemon. You can catch... Okay, um, I'm gonna go over... Oh dear, this is gonna take forever, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so let's just go over this. You can either just throw a Pokeball, you can bait them, which will get them closer to you, which will have them less of a chance of running away, but less of a catch rate, and then throwing a rock has more of a catch rate, but less, or more chance of them running away. So I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball, or Safari Ball, and see if it works. So anyway, <laughs> let's just uh, quickly go over the Pokemon you can catch here. Um, I was gonna try and dif difference do the difference between versions, but it's it's too complex. Um, because I have a whole chart here. I'll I'll try and you know just do versions. Uh, okay, so <sighs> you can catch. Nidoran, Nidorina, uh, both Nidorans, Nidorino, Execute, Paris, Parasect, Cubone, Marowak, Doduo, Venonat, Venomoth, uh, Rhyhorn, Chansey, and I can't believe I caught that, um, Tangela, Scyther, Pinsir, Kangaskhan, and Tauros. Some of these Pokemon can only be caught in some areas. Uh, mostly the higher level Pokemon can only be caught in area 4, I think? Anyway. Um, I don't know why they play the evolution song here. It's kind of weird. Anyway. Um, let's try and get through... Can I actually use items? Hmm. You, there are items here. You can get some max potions. Wait, if I can use items... Yes, I can use my bike! Awesome! Uh, TM37, we'll go over all the items later. I'm just gonna try and get through this as fast as possible. Full restore, those are awesome. Um, talk to this guy in here, I think? How many did you catch? Da -da -da. I made a Chansey, lucky bastard. Chansey's really good if you can get it. Just saying. Okay, so let's go back on our bike and try and get through the Safari Zone as quick as possible. Okay, this should be uh, Trainer Tips. I don't care about Trainer Tips! I, there are four areas, and I want to try and get to Area 4. Um because there's an item that I want to get at the end of Area 4, and of Repel's effect wore off. Ah, no, I'm lost. Wait, I have a map, don't I? Oh no, my phone's going off. Oh god! Because you're on a time limit, and it doesn't tell you how much time you have in the time limit. Um... No, this is just the center place. Whatever. Uh, oh, I should just put up my Repel again. Duh. Okay, so this is area three. We need to get to the right, which is area four. I think we just gotta go down. Go to the right. What's this? Max revive, that's awesome. Oh, oh, I think we found it! Oh, I think we found it! Yes, we need to... <gasps> no! 
Great, now I have to pay another $500 to try and race to the end. Ugh. What bull. Alright, I'll try and meet you guys there. Okay, so, first you gotta find those gold teeth that were on the root, which is right outside this house. Then, talk to this guy. I think you talk to this guy. Um, oh, I don't have room for this fabulous prize. Is that why? Uh, Korean dishes, you have one, you don't have room for this fabulous prize. Okay. Just get rid of... What's this? TM... Egg Bomb... Do... Can any of my Pokémon learn Egg... No. Okay, then I'm going to just... Toss Egg Bomb, because I'm never going to use it, ever. Alright, gimme, 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 hurry, 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 hurry. Um... And you give this guy... And he gives you HMO3! Oh, alright, HMO3! Might as well go over it now. Um, on the route, I probably highlighted a little. We got a Carbos, Max Revive, uh, Skull Bash. Now that is a good move. Uh, which only these two can learn. Um, I'll hold on to it, because it's a very good move. Gold Teeth, HM32, or TM32, which is double team, which is pretty nice. But then we have HM3, which is Surf. Uh, surf can be learned by Sir What's a Lot. Um, I am just going to sadly. Oh, wait, no, I'll just get rid of Water Gun. Duh. I'll save Bubble Beam. Awesome. Alright, so now we can surf over. Damn it, I forgot in. Oh, so that's the time. Durr. Okay, well, whatever. We made it just in the nick of time. Whew! Awesome. Alright, so now that that's out of the way, I think I'm going to start taking on the gym. And my repel wore off. Awesome. So, let's get things organized. I'm going to go to the Pokemon Center and fix things up. So, BRB. Mikey gave the gold teeth to Warden! The Warden popped in his teeth. Thanks, kid. No one could understand a word I was saying. I couldn't work that way. So let me give you something for your troubles. We get HM04, two HMs in one city, awesome. This HM is Strength. Now, Strength is a very useful TM, so I'm probably going to have to teach it to one of my Pokemon, even though I know for a fact... I'm going to probably have to teach it to Honeydew, only because... Um... Oh, I can't! Oh, that sucks. Then I'll teach it just Sand True for now. 
because now we can take this. Okay, requires strength, so use it. Ugh, alright. There, you can move now. Ah, there's no room left. Uh, protein, I'll just use on... Rakamon. I forgot what proteins do, okay? Jeez. Rare candy, awesome. Okay, so now I'm going back to the Pokemon Center to fix things up. Ugh, oh sweet Jesus, that took forever. Alright. Uh, the raw files of this freaking thing are gonna be huge. Anyway, so... This gym... Ugh, this gym is annoying. But it's okay, because I'm a cheater and I have a guidebook. Anyway, this gym is a poison gym, which means, again, Honeydew will be one of our main people. But also, Mana will be good because it resists a lot of poison-type attacks. And apparently, Hypno is... Uh... What's it called? A poison-type. <laughs> anyway, let's show off Surf! Alright, oh, Hypno is very good in the defensive area. I forgot. Uh, so let's use an offensive move. Wow. Oh, I just noticed that, like, we are on par with Hypno. Like, his level is equal to ours. <laughs> huh. This is, uh, this is intense, um... Okay, awesome, level 38. Might have to be a little careful in this gym. I didn't notice that they were this high a level. I mean, Hypno. I don't even see a Hypno on here. This, this book lies to me. Okay, well, anyway, uh, let's switch it up. Let's actually rock a mar. No, yeah. rock -a -mar should be able to take on the gym. Uh, anyway, let's... Yeah, let's take a... You can faintly see the wall. There's an invisible wall here. You can faintly see it. Um, I can clearly see it on this, I guess, because it's a, uh... Haxors. It's an emulator. <laughs> but anyway, this guy shouldn't have too much. Hypno or drowsy. What? This is so confusing. Ugh. I am not ready for this stuff. Anyway, um let us Let's confuse it. Ah, uh, so now you get to see me sweat a little. Um Okay, so what I'm thinking is oh it's level 31, I can I can handle this. I can handle this drowsy. But can it handle me? <laughs> That's what I'm worried about. Withdrew drowsy, what the hell? A second drowsy. Ah, why are there psychic types in a normal or poison gym? Oh, this is so confusing. Um, so yeah. I th think I'm just going to cut these out because it looks like they're just drowsies. That's really sad, actually. We're gonna be seeing a lot of psychic types in th another gym. Why would they put psychic types here? That's stupid. Oh well, I'll ju I'm just gonna cut this out until we actually see a poison type. Er, set. Yeah, poison type, that's what I wanted. Oh my god, it's a poison type! I don't believe it. I don't believe it, I don't believe my eyes. Jeez, Arbok. I mean, they're the only really good poison types in this gym. Um, wheezing, coughing, and muck. Harbach you don't even see much of. Uh, and he has a sand- Why would you have a sand slash? It's a 
poison gym. You know what? Ice beam, because you're so confusing. Ugh. I'm, I have that bad taste in my mouth. Alright, so I think I'm just gonna actually just end it here, because this is, this is bullcrap. This is bullshit. Uh, no, but for all seriousness, I'm going to cut it here only because I swore that there were more poison types in this gym other than a couple Arbox. And we're gonna be seeing a lot of psychic types soon anyway, so... Um, yeah, I'm gonna just call it an episode. Uh, next time on Pokemon Blue, all of these trainers will be defeated and... Um, we'll be facing the gym leader. So, see you guys then.